SNES Trunk. Welcome back to SNES Trunk Plays Mega Man X2. And as you can see on the menu here, those three guys, the three guys that are holding uh, Zero's parts or whatever, they show up randomly at uh, whatever stage. I think they change each time uh, you go back to the main menu. But screw all that. I'm not even going to bother with those guys. If I if I stumble into a battle with one of them, I'll fight them. But uh, for now, we're going to go to Bubble Crap stage. I love the background there. Doesn't that look awesome? The orange sky with the sunsets. And it's a quality pixel art in this game, as there is in every Mega Man game. Why wouldn't there be? It's freaking Mega Man and Super Nintendo. And to get through any of these blocks here, pretty intuitive. Just use the buzzsaw thingy that we just got from Wheel Gator. Whoa, look out. Oh, these shark things are so satisfying to to kill. It makes such a neat little sound when you blow them up. Love that. And then right here, we have already reached the first checkpoint in this level. I don't know why they decided to put a checkpoint here, but in the meantime, we have to fight this Robo fish. Let's first start by blowing off its jaw and by getting hit a thousand times while hammering it to shit with the arm cannon. One f thing I uh, one one thing about Mega Man X2, I don't think the weapons, at least so far, I mean I've only got two weapons, but I don't think the weapons, uh, the boss weapons in this game, are as fun as. Uh, the uh, weapons that you get in Mega Man X. Like there you've got like Storm Eagle's weapon, you've got the flamethrower thingy, you've got the uh, homing missiles, you've got the rolling shield. There's a lot of really good weapons there. Here, uh, not so much. I think there's something down here. Not much though. I'm gonna lose the fish, but yeah, there's nothing down here. This is where the game, or this level starts to get a little open-ended. Is that guy gonna, you know, I'll have to take the hit, whatever. There's lots of weird little areas that you can explore. I'm not even sure how to get to that thing down there. I don't really care. Let's uh, destroy this fish, though, if we can. I keep missing. Oh, no. oh it looks like I actually got him. Shit. Oh. Another thing about Mega Man X2 is that it is very, it is critically important in this game that you learn the long jump. Um, it's almost like the long jump in Mar uh, Mario 64, where you hold the Z button and uh, jump at the same time. You have to hit the Z like a split second before you jump. You gotta get the timing just right. Same thing here, and that's why I advocate switching um, the uh, R button to uh, or uh, switching the dash from the A to the R button. It's just so much easier. It's so awkward to try and get it on the on the A button because you have to press both at the same time. And I'm, I'm one of those weirdos that likes to keep the gun charged at all times. I like keeping my thumb on the, uh, the weapon, on the arm cannon, on the fire button, whatever you want to call it, uh, all the time. I always keep it charged. It's just force of habit. I think if I had made it here on time, this would have been one of the fighting one of those guys. But uh, we got to go back around. Uh oh! Ow! Jump! Damn it! Son of a bitch! Well, that went exactly as planned. It took half my fucking life. Are you serious? I don't think I'm gonna beat uh, Mr. Bubble Crab right away. I don't even have much of a sub tank, but luckily I've got this guy's weakness. That's another thing about this game though that that's that I think I like better than the original Mega Man X is that um, even if you have the guy's weakness, see it only takes about what you, you still have to hit the guy 10 times or so. Oh, he jumped right into it. That was pretty satisfying. Uh-oh. See it I'm just off today. I just can't get the timing right for my jumps and any of that stuff. There we go. Oh, see, backed right into it. Not doing so well. 
Let's try it again. Luckily, the uh, buzzsaw thingy does not take a whole lot of... Uh, it, it's not... It's It doesn't take a lot of uh, thing, each thing. Each thing doesn't take a lot of thing on the things with the stuff. That's what basically what I'm trying to say. Anyway, yeah, you gotta be careful with this guy or else he'll send his like little crab minions after you just like that. And these things get in the way and they're really annoying and I'm not I'm just gonna try and ignore him. God, he jumped right over that one. Son of a bitch. I'm just gonna stand here and keep hitting him, see if this works. <laughs> the answer is no, it doesn't. I'm just off today, I can't Oh, he jumped right over it! Yeah, on second thought, having those things there means I can't jump over him. Ugh, I'm an idiot. One more hit and I'm dead. And I'm dead. It's not my best day today. Hey, I'm trying. Not gonna roll over yet. Alright, I still got half of this thing. Let's be a little more careful and not allow him to uh, get those... These little bubble crab minions floating on the water. That way I can still jump over them if I have to. Like I said, even if you have this guy's weakness, um, I haven't looked at a chart yet, so I'm honestly not sure if this if there's a better weapon against this guy. I'm not even sure. I'm not. I don't think there is. I don't know what it, what it would be if there is. But you still got to hit the guy like ten times at least. Actually, more like 12 times. Ooh, that was close. Ah, not fast enough. Oh, that one hit him twice. That was cool. Just keep hitting him consistently and prevent him from getting his friends out. That's evidently... Uh-oh. Well, they stay on one side. One more hit should do it. Just in time, too. I ran out of my weapon. Did they just float off screen? They didn't even explode with this guy. They just kind of exit stage right. Wow. <laughs> and Bubble Crab is history. What do we get for defeating Bubble Crab? We get one of the goofiest weapons in Mega Man history. You get... <laughs> That's right. You blow bubbles from your arm cannon. And it makes a really squishy, weird squishy sound. I don't know what they were thinking with that weapon. It's just the most effeminate, like, come on already. Like, bubbles, I'm, like, I understand the running gag of, like, okay, bubbles hurt you. That's ridiculous. But now Mega Man is hurting other bosses with bubbles. Yeah. Next is Flame Stag. He is weak to bubbles. Because, you know, you put fire out with with soap. <laughs> with bubbles. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Let's get a move on here. See, I'm, my rhythm is just off with my long jumps today. For whatever reason, I just can't get uh, this going. Oh, it already automatically fills up? I was all set to the right weapon too but it fills up automatically when you beat a boss I guess oh so satisfying to kill those uh oh I hate this part this is gonna really test my my rhythm here oh shit 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 I have to get the thing for the things and I failed there's a you want to use the buzz saw up there to get the heart piece and I failed and you know what? I'm going to call this an episode. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.